Good morning. Today is Monday within the fifth week of Easter, the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service to your church. Grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack stone and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Lyconium city of Lystra and Derby and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up, straight, on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas, Zeus, and Paul, Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gate, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles, Barnabas and Paul, tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go on their own ways. Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to, not to us, us, O Lord, Lord but to your name give, give the glory. glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give the glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not to, not us, to us, O Lord, Lord but, but to you your name give, give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to, Not us, to us, O Lord, Lord but, but to your name, name give, give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who, who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to, Not to us, us, O Lord, Lord but, but to your name, name give, give glory. The glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, 
and will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as a church, we celebrate the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, a virgin and doctor of the church. One of my favorite quotes from St. Catherine of Siena is this. She said, Be who God meant you to be, and you will set the world on fire. Over these weeks of Easter, we've heard in our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, this early church, the early disciples, who continued the mission of Jesus Christ. But as we hear in our readings, continuing this mission, building the early church, wasn't easy. It took courage and perseverance. It took the disciples much time and patience to really go forward and preach God's words and evangelize and ultimately to build the very same church we too are part of today. For those early apostles, perhaps they had in mind the very words of Jesus from today's gospel, this reality that each of us are loved by the Father as we keep his commandments, as we in our actions care for those most in need, each of us by virtue of our baptism by virtue of our very lives as Christians, are called forth just as those early disciples to build the church, to grow in our relationship with God, and ultimately to carry out that very same mission that the church continues today. Be who God meant you to be. For all of us, that might be something different. God calls us each in in our own unique way. But as we find out what God wants of us, who God wants us to be, today we're reminded by St. Catherine that we too, like the early apostles and disciples, have that call to set the world on fire, set the world on fire with our faith, with our actions, through our relationship with God. We not only build the church through worship and through the sacraments, but in everything we do in our community to help those most in need. That's exactly how the disciples led the early church. That's exactly as we are Christians today. That's how we build the church as well, through celebrating mass, through receiving the sacraments, and ultimately by nourishing and going forth into the community to serve others. Let us stand now and offer our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father, for Pope Francis and Bishop Ambera and all those who lead the church, that they too, like the early disciples, may build the church and grow forward in the mission of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all men and women in the military and first responders in our own local community, that as they strive to keep us safe, they may be protected from harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in Israel and the Ukraine during this time of war, that an end to war and strife may be sought and peace may be resolved, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection of life from conception to natural death, that all people may respect the dignity and sanctity of human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, may they come to know eternal peace in God's heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Margaret and John Hoover, Joan Hudak, and Frank de Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should you enter should under my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.